Hello, happy Wednesday. I am jumping on to share my meal planning for next week with you. Um, hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I did take the week off of meal planning on here, but I did have a meal plan for myself last week. Um, I didn't, otherwise I don't know how, otherwise I don't know how to function. So I like to have a meal plan so I can know, okay, what do I need to get from the grocery store? What are we gonna eat each day? So those are some of the reasons why I like to meal plan. So I wanted to go ahead and share my screen with you and kind of take you through how I do my meal planning. So the way I start my meal plan is I usually pop open my meal plan from last week and then I start from there and start um, adding in things and I've got some containers moved around on this one so we can talk a little bit about that. But I usually start with a meal plan template. So I do follow portion fix. I follow meal plan B for portion fix. So if you're not a meal plan B, you can just subtract. If you're A, you would subtract a purple and a yellow every day. And if you're a C and above, then you would just add in the containers. So like say um, if you're an A, then I might take away um, like the yellow from this meal two and then the purple from this meal three and then follow the rest of the plan. Or if you're a C, maybe you get an extra green, maybe you can add in the green here or just double up on one of the vegetables. And I think you also get an extra yellow so you could add in um, some extra containers there. So that's kind of how to f follow my meal plan. But if you're in a different bracket, you can do that. Um, so I start with the meal plan template. You can find the meal plan templates um, in my website, whatsworkinghere.com. If you go to resource library and then it'll prompt you to type in the password. Um, if you're a subscriber, you should have the password. And um, if you scroll down under food, you can go to the foundational fixed eating plan templates. And you can see I've got A through F. Um, if you're gonna do some carb cycling, I've got those templates too as well. And then I also have the 80 day obsession or the time nutrition meal plan templates. So if you're morning workout, noon or night, um, the basis for most of my templates is one of the time nutrition. And so I liked how, um, cause portion fix was kind of hard for me in the beginning. I'm like, what containers do I put together and when? And so when she came out with portion fix with the time nutrition, I was like, ah, oh, yes, it's laid out for me. So that kind of gives you a starting point. And then from there, like I did this week, you can move containers around. So that's where to find the, um, the meal plan um, templates. It's in the what's working here resource library you can find at whatsworkinghere.com and then you can go over to resource library. All right, so getting to the meal plan. So I pop open my template. Um, I like to label the dates, whatever we have going on that week so that I can know what I need to plan for. Um, like we're doing like a pizza party for the kids for soccer. So I went ahead and, and put that in as well. So from there, I start planning with meal one. Meal one is always my Shakeology. My husband and I, and now my son too, um, we've been drinking Shakeology for years and years and years. Um, I feel like it gives me energy, helps with digestion and regularity and those sorts of things. So that's always my meal one. And then, so I just copy and paste that for every day. So then meal two is kind of like what I call my second breakfast, <laughs> kind of a morning snack. And so I um, pick two of those for the week and then I alternate them. So I've got a BLT wrap. And the reason why I chose the BLT wrap is because on Thursday, I really thought ahead on this, on Thursday, I'm gonna be going in the office. So I wanted something that I could just take with me in the car that would be easy to eat on my way into the office. So I copied and pasted that and then I switched it out with eggs, toast, and a tomato not a whole tomato, a half a tomato is what I usually have. Um, so that's pretty easy as well. So then um, for meal three, um, I usually leave it open on the weekend for like a salad or sandwich, but during the week, it's usually my leftovers. Meal four is my afternoon snack. So I pick two of those for the week as well. And then I alternate them. And so you can see usually my meal, this one, this one's all wacky. Usually my meal for, um, like just to start with, is usually a green, blue, and purple. But since I wanted to do the peaches and pecans, which is a recipe from my website, recipe, peaches and pecans and some cinnamon, put it in the microwave, it tastes like peach cobbler, so good, um, especially during these cold, these cold days. Um, 
So I put that on there. So that means I didn't have a green. So I just dropped down my green to double up for dinner. So we're having mixed veggies. I'll just have two cups instead of one cup of mixed vegetables. And then you can see down here, since I accounted for my pizza, I've had a lot of people ask like, well, I don't know, portion mix is hard because I don't know how to count different things. Like if I'm out or eating at someone else's house. You're just gonna try to do your best. So I know pizza, that's gonna be a yellow for the crust. I'm gonna have some cheese on my pizza, so that'll be my blue. And then usually I have some sort of meat, uh, pepperoni, ham, sausage, something like that, so that'll count as my red. Um, so that's when I moved up. <laughs> Since I was gonna double up veggies here, I figure I'll double them up at lunch and then just enjoy my pizza. And if the container counts aren't exactly right, that's okay. It's one day, move on to the next day. And then, um, so yeah, so there. Um, okay, so I alternated my peaches and pecans and then there, since I used my blue down here for my pizza, I changed out the orange container and bumped it up. So I'm gonna have my carrots, an apple, and then some pumpkin seeds. So you see how you can kind of start with the containers and then move them around how you need to. All right, so I've done meals one, two, three, and four. Now all I'll have to do is plan dinners for the week. So what I like to do typically, and one of the things I've done, if you haven't checked out um, the meal plan cards, I think, I think it's still on the sidebar here. <laughs> if you go to whatsworkinghere.com, you can accidentally click on an ad. <laughs> Just kidding. You can go and scroll down and on the sidebar, you'll find the color combo meal cards and it, you'll get the, the meal plan templates as well with them. But so I use these a lot to kind of change up and give myself some variety because I know sometimes it's hard you, when you're trying to think off the top of your head, you just end up going to the same things. So one of the things I like to do to add variety to my meal plans is change up the proteins. So you'll see like I've got the red cards, that's gonna be your like beef, and ground meat, things like that. Um, the pink cards are like ham and pork. Um, the yellow cards are poultry, so like chicken, turkey. And then the blue cards are gonna be like your seafood, like fish, shrimp, those types of things. So I like to try when I do my meal planning is I like to go in and say, okay, I'm gonna pick one red category, one yellow category, one um, blue category, just to kind of mix up the different proteins. So I started out with the blue. I started with the teriyaki salmon. This is a recipe that is on my website and it's so simple to make. I don't even need to look at a recipe anymore. Um, I did change up some of the things. We used to have it with snap peas, but lately the snap peas have not been that great. So um, I'm gonna go mix, mix vegetables as well. So that's another thing you can do if you're looking at some of my, my meal plan ideas and you're like, oh, teriyaki salmon with mixed vegetables and rice noodles, ooh, I don't like that. Well, change things up. Maybe you don't like rice noodles. Ch swap out the yellow for maybe rice. So you're gonna have brown rice instead. Or you don't like the mixed vegetables. Maybe you go with asparagus or something like that. So you can take the idea and then kind of tweak it and make it your own. So that is my um, dinner for that night, and then that will become lunch the next day. And like I said, since I took away this green, I just moved it down here and doubled up on my vegetables. And then a Monday night pizza party. Um, so we talked about kind of how to count for those containers. Um, it doesn't have to be exact, just kind of try to find um, the foods that kind of the, that kind of line up. Um, I think there may be some information out there on how to count pizza, but um, just try to do your best. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I'm thinking about writing a post about kind of how to count containers, especially I get a lot of questions about counting containers and things like casseroles or soups. Like I've got this chicken tortilla soup down here. So just um, finding out some different ways of how to calculate and count those. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing is um, how to how to count, count containers for things that aren't just straightforward. Um, okay, so then I'm not gonna have leftover pizza. So I've left this open on Tuesday for lunch for a salad or a sandwich. Um, so I'll just make sure that I have food on hand so that I can make that really quick. So that could be as simple as having um, like some bread, some lunch meat, and like some lettuce and tomato for a sandwich, or some spinach or salad mix, a cucumber, tomato, 
and then um, maybe like some either sliced ham so it's kind of almost the same exact thing um, you can make like a chef salad with like some sliced ham or something like that to make it really simple so then Tuesday I selected chicken tortilla soup um, someone mentioned it the other day I was like oh I have a good there's a good recipe for that so this recipe is from confessions of a fit foodie she's got great portion fix recipes and it tells you the portions as well I think the portion size in the recipe is like a half a green, a half a red, a half a yellow. So eat double. <laughs> um, and then for the um, for the extra green, since I dropped that extra green down there, I'm going to just have a side salad. And then for the orange, I'll use um, some salad dressing. And then so the next day for lunch, I'm going to drop the salad because I won't need the extra one, um, the extra green container of the orange and just have the chicken tortilla soup. And then Wednesday night, I'm going to do the Fixate beef macaroni. It is so good. So you can find it on Beachbody On Demand under the Fixate um, recipes. And then I add broccoli with it. Um, and then again, I had to drop the blue down. So I swapped the blue and the orange containers and then added some broccoli because I think it's really just a, a red and a yellow and a blue. So I'll, we usually have some broccoli on the side. Sometimes I've even mixed the broccoli in there and that's delicious as well. And then Thursday I'm gonna be in the office so I'll probably eat out and then we'll have leftovers for dinner that night. And then Friday and Saturday we usually, oh, why does that have that on there? Um, I think as I adjust the containers, <laughs> we usually eat out, so I'll leave that open to eat out as well. But that is pretty much how I handle uh, my meal planning and adding some variety. Um, the cards definitely help so that you can kind of pick the front one and then move it to the back or just give you some different ideas. And on the back of each card, it has the um, ingredients list, so the things that you would need from the grocery store to purchase. So. That makes it easy because I've done things sometimes where I'm like, oh, tacos, I know how to make tacos. But then I go to the grocery store and I forget something like the taco shells or the beet or something like that. So it's helpful to have the list of ingredients on the back so you can just flip it over and write your grocery list. But I am happy to help you with your meal planning. Um, and if you have questions, feel free to shoot me over a message. Have a great